So to do the rear transmission bushing, I don't want to pull the exhaust because I'm lazy. It's also making my life way more difficult. The videos I've seen, they want you to pull the carrier bearing of the drive shaft and drop it. I loosened one of the bolts again because I don't want to pull the exhaust so that second bolt's still on there tight but once you get up there there's only two bolts you pull the two bolts and then the transmission will angle down a little bit and you can pull the bushing off we'll see if i can continue to do this without lowering the drive shaft so you do have to drop the carrier bearing to get in here and then use a couple of extensions to get past the resonator okay. and you can get all the way into that really shitty little bolt all right so you definitely have to drop the drive shaft a little bit Take those two bolts out. It makes all the clearance in the world for you to drop down the transmission. It just angles down a little bit and you can get the OEM uh, bushing out. And then when you install the new bushing, make sure it angles up like this. It's just a little bit of an angle, but allegedly that's how it goes in, honestly can really tell you that's the way that makes sense so using common sense have it angle up and then it's just the two bolts that will go in and then grease it i use just some of my basic grease a lot of people use wd-40 the grease will not only help it go on when you put it in the car but it'll also allow that little bit of movement without tearing it up